Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Club Pusillanimous. This evening we have Heather C. citing her poem, My Oppression. Take it away, Heather. My Oppression. When I was born, circumcision never came to mind. When my brother came along, they weren't so kind. In school, I was allowed to laugh, shout, and play. My brother was quiet. His laughter was medicated away. My parents encouraged me to attend college. It's important, they said, for a girl to get knowledge. They didn't push my brother not nearly as much. He can always go out and drive a dump truck. I asked my government for some school money. They said yes, of course, because I'm a honey. I don't even get sick all that often. I haven't touched a door handle since my boobs grew in. There was this one guy at college, you know the type, all hair and muscles, rocking that frat boy hype. So we were at this party one Friday night. I'm drinking heavy and he's drinking light. I know I consented. I know I said yes. But the next morning, I had deep regrets. I spoke with a girlfriend. I was in such a state. She said not to worry. If they ask, it was rape. I go to work now almost every day. I work for four days, and for five I get pay. Because of the wage gap, the boys they make more. They work for five days and get paid for four. It started with drinks, doesn't it always? Next came supper, lobster and chardonnay. He paid for everything, naturally. After all, he was grazed with my company. I do love having sex, variety is spice. With so many forms of birth control, isn't choice nice? Were I to fall pregnant, I'd still have that choice. I decide for the three of us. He doesn't get a voice. We finally got married. You should see my stone. We bought a house together and made it a home. We honeymooned on a boat. Now a couple of years passed. When there was an issue, rule was boys get out last. In the divorce, I got the house, cars, and kids. He got two jobs and now lives in the skids. I'll have a long life, probably outlive my brother too, since we girls tend to live longer than you boys ever do. Be it military or suicide, dangerous jobs or old age, or maybe because there are more boys in a cage. It's a man's privilege to suffer and die, while my oppression holds me up high. Thank you very much.